Howdy everyone! Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Chronicle and the Black Shadow and last time we uh, we uh, had uh, begun exploring the Moonflower Palace in a little bit more detail slowly making our way through, getting a bit more accustomed to uh, the challenges we're going to be coming up against for the uh, foreseeable future um, where we have also just made our way up to the Zombie Zone um, where uh, uh, we have uh, the split um, in between the uh, the two pathways, folks. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you to start off with straight away. I don't remember which way goes which. I have no idea. Um, it is a bit of guesswork. Wow! What a find that is. You, I say you will start finding... You know, you, you, I understand, we'll start getting hold of some decent stuff and oh that looks like a sea of red kind of trust monogram a little bit more here what have we got here then Bundy Bundy's back still trying to poison me and still failing I thought it was going to be more card warriors, perhaps. I say, um, you know, they've had their big feature level, but uh, they'll pop up every now and again, uh, the card warriors. But well, there'll be one sort of a, a reoccurring enemy or variants of them um, throughout the rest of the palace, basically. Ooh, this doesn't look fun. Crow priest. Oh dear. Badness of foot. Fire Drake. No rush here, folks. Ooh. Hey, who healed him? Did did the crow priest just heal the fire Drake? I think it just did. Ooh, that was powerful. Monica, what are you doing? Making me look bad now. Come on. The Castle Eater! That looks. That's a familiar sounding enemy. Castle Eater? Hold on a second. Isn't that one of the required enemies we need for one of our uh, things? This is the Sun Path, folks. Just so you know. I swear that name is familiar. Pro Priest Diamond. Ah, oh, look, that's already not too bad getting on there. Uh, we haven't met any of those guys yet, though. Um, Bundy. Diamond. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. Right, okay then, folks. So are going to do is not go that way any further. At least we know where one exit is. Hey, that's the sun exit. I have to remember which exit goes where. I I think we want to leave the sun exit. I think that's the one that goes along the main path. And I say we want to go along the, uh, the side path instead. So I think we want to go the other direction. No, don't quote me on that, folks. And to be honest, either way, um, I'm gonna have to go off screen at some point and do the other, uh, do the other level. Uh, well, do, well, I say do the other level, sort of, uh, no, I mean do this level again. Uh, I'm gonna have to, folks, um, so that I can, uh, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna show going through the same level twice because that's, that's needless. So I'll do it off screen at some point just to get the other path open. That's what I'm You. Right, what are we dealing with then? Uh, more single line nonsense. Oh, not silver gears. Oh, I hate these guys. Thank goodness I got a critical hit in there. That made my life a bit easier. Come on, you. Ah, stopped him. Bonus. Doesn't cut. Doesn't hit often. That they. Um, that one. Don't hit me, please. There we go. 
want those guys killed as quickly as I can. I'm not hanging around. So I'm going to bring Max out for a little bit, actually. Um, I do tend to find that Moloka is, is more suited to a lot of the enemies here than, than Max is, but can't afford to really neglect Max here, folks, um, because obviously, being what it is, we are going to run up to, sooner or later, we're going to run up to start getting some the sealed levels, and we can't afford Max to be that OW weak. Of course, that has its own problems, but that's not good. That's better. I just did inordinate amounts of damage. I missed! Oh, that was a dodge. Ooh. Oh, that was a great block there from the castle eater. Well, blocking the castle eater. I nearly, I nearly went down. That would be bad, bad news. Um, I'm going to discard that. We can't, we're not going to do any damage with a bomb now. It's not worth anything. I'm just going to discard it. Yeah. We are finding premium chickens, to be fair, um, and they tend to come in two, so... I don't mind pick using one. I can, I can live with that. <laughs> I, I, is it just me, or is, is the wrench... having a bit of fun time um, hitting things on occasion. I don't know what that is. I'm going to leave that um, to the end when we're done. It may just be me, but that's just an observation I'm having there. It, it doesn't seem to always want to hit, especially that third attack of the general... Ow! The general um, attack pattern. It doesn't particularly like hitting. It's just me, I don't know. Oh, I thought I'd be able to get it, never mind. That was much better. That's much more like what it should be. Yeah, being, uh, touching consistent, I think. Oh, 12's not a lot, but it's, it's plenty enough, especially when I start getting some more. What a trade-in. I, I like this business deal we've got going here with, uh, with Griffin. I'll keep it coming. Yeah, don't have any room for that. I, I've only got, I've only used one, so I've got like 19. Could probably do with eventually, sooner or later, going out. Um, who have we got as a support character? Granny Rosa, for some absurd reason. I don't know why, as I have done pretty much the most of the LP. I keep forgetting to change um, what I've got on me. That's a bit interesting. I could do with anyone, not really. I, could, I might even consider half. Well, I could put Adele on me. Uh, nah, Adele's a bit Ah! Ah, that stung. That stung a little bit. Thanks for that. Oh, dear. From distance. Projectile wall. There we go. It's a bit better. Ooh. Be a, bit, a little bit cautious here. Ah! Oh, this is going to get complicated. This does not benefit me in any way, does it? The fact that there's something in the way. No! No, we killed each other! We took each other down! Down, down, deeper and down. That's not ideal. Oh, it's worse. It's like pistols at dawn, except both guys shoot each other. Well, I'll show you how this works, folks. Um, if we get hold of this resurrection powder, use it on Max, revives him, and you'll see also back to full health. 
which is quite nice. So that's how the resurrection powder works, but I'm not going to use that really willy-nilly. Oh, darn. That's a fire drake. That's not good. That's why it's not good. I just got annihilated. Did Max just still gather the experience? That fire drake just annihilated me. Uh. Uh. Oh, the damage is still coming off of those. Come on, you! Uh. Ah! 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 Ah, you son of a... That was painful. Looks like we got them all. Ooh, that was uh, that was ugly. Um, there's no point moving um, anyone to the sphere simply because that Max is incapacitated. We can't switch to him. I'm not using another resurrection power just so we can play Sphere. And as you know, guys, like, we've got to do this stage again, anyways. Well, I'll do, I've got to do this stage anyways, so I have to do it off screen at some point. Um, so yeah. Watch it restore my health. Oh no, ABS bonus. Okay then. Thanks. So, yeah. But um, I'm pretty sure it's the moon path that I want here. I think it's the moon path I want to do first, not the sun path. Could be wrong. I am wrong! Damn it! I want to go the other way. Fine, I'll go and do this one again. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it off screen, folks. I'll be, uh, I'll be back in a jiffy when I, I'll get this done. I'll go for the sun path. Well, hi again, everyone. Uh, yeah, just back here at Heimrada, folks. Uh, just quickly before we uh, we move on, something uh, very interesting. I've literally just found out. So I simply have found out, folks. Um, I've come back here. Um, I've, I've I've gone through the level, done all that. I want to come back, just sorting out characters and equipment and stuff. I came back here, folks, because I want to get hold of Gerald. Now, Gerald, of course, lives in this house here. But although we've got him on us, you'll see, he still apparently, uh, the, he still belongs to the building. And uh, there, and actually forwarding on from that, folks, if we go here, of course, we need Gerald here for the operations room to still be in existence, folks, and all the stuff that's gone on. And you see there, uh, Gerald resides in Heimrada. It still applies, so even though we've uh, located him to this house, we can still go away with him, which is uh, pretty cool. I like that. That's that's. Um, I I did know that was how this worked. I thought even if he's um, supposed to be living there, um, it still doesn't apply. But apparently it does. So that's pretty cool. Um. So what we will do is say we beat the zombie zone. Uh, so now, oh dear, folks, White Seal, feeling out of place. Oh dear. I told you these sea levels. We're coming up soon as I try and yank the headset from my head accidentally. Um, yeah. This is also probably not the only white seal level we are going to come across. White seal. No healing. But notice, folks. A palette chain. Now... I am certainly going Monica first here. No question. Well, the fact that we get no healing capabilities means obviously we need to be very cautious. Of course, um, Monica's healing bangle um, still flies, and as does any in-game healing, uh, but you can't actually heal w w from menu. Back to our hearts, they're back again. Of course, they're weak to chill. 
However, I've been boosting it. I have been seriously boosting uh, Chill, actually, um, off screen. Um, I went and did also all the um, upgrading and stat points and that. You can see the Chill for this now is at 68, which is not bad. Seems a little bit of work, mind you. Not found any of the enemies yet, though, that uh, we need to upgrade this, which is a bit annoying. Uh, Satan Brassard, uh, I have worked out it's this bottom one that I need to upgrade this to. Uh, so we will do, although we've nearly got everything actually we need for the top one, funnily enough. Um, and as for Max, uh, I, I say we've now got Gerald with us, which will help upgrading this because this is going to take a little while. Um, but the Sigma Breaker, unfortunately, it is ready to be upgraded bar the two enemy folks, but that there, the Grade Zero, that is Max's ultimate weapon. It is his ultimate weapon, uh, as far as the wrenches go. Um, it is just a straight path there. Um, and like I say, that is the ultimate weapon. So we just need to find those two enemies, and we can upgrade that into a whole level of goodness. But we got to find them first. Oh, yes, Geostone. Must take that. Are we requiring that at the end of the video? Um, you will find, every now and again, the palette colour will ch um, change here um, in the, the move Battle Pass, which is nice. I think you need it, to be fair. It's even refreshing, because, you know, we got, like, 25 levels to go through. That's a lot. Odds are, there's going to be probably one or two somewhere or another that I'm going to end up cutting out um, somewhere. It's, it's, all, it's almost inevitable. There aren't going to be 28 levels worth of new enemies. Look at that way. Uh, we'll see how we go. I mean, as it is here, we've got a lot of card enemies back now. There's our map. Ooh, that's, um, there's a lot of red there. The informers, we know they're, um, not, they're, they're a bit resilient. There we go. That did some, that did some damage. Wow, I'm impressed with that. That did some serious damage. Oh, new enemy there, though, folks. Moon Goyo. He was getting healed by the heart, which is annoying. Of course, that is one of the uh, the enemies, actually, that we were looking for on our weapons list for uh, for Max. I believe. Are they Maxes? No, it was... Uh, actually, it might be Monica's, actually, we can do it. Yeah, it was Monica's. Very good. Um, I want to... Up I'm going to upgrade the chill six more one here. That way, that gets all... That gets, actually, this will get um, all of the stats on the Chronicle Sword up to a pretty respectable level. That's pretty good. Actually, that's more than pretty good. That is seriously good. Uh, repair the weapon over here as well, might be. So I can live with that. Right. Ah, my arm. Oh, sorry, folks. I just moved my arm and it just went all funny and that, that hurt. <sighs> Evil thought. Are these guys weak to chill by any chance? I have a funny feeling they are. I want to let you hear that, actually. I, I, they, I get the feeling they're weak to chill. Joker, X, Nurse, Moon, Goyo, Pro Priest, Evil 4. Oh, Flame and Chill. It can drop premium chickens. Wow, that's, that's, um, that's pretty good. You don't, sir. You, you, no, you are gonna fall to my bangle of death. Now, so I was actually, I was, I've, I, um, I happily, I have found my notes again. 
I can't believe how close we are to open weapons with everyone, folks. This Satan Prasad we've got is almost actually uh, its next development, the second item down on the list. That is actually the ultimate weapon on the path that I was going for with the Prasad. So Monica has nearly got both of her ultimate weapons. Max has nearly got one of his. The gun, I don't know um, if that if that's um, the one it's coming up to, his ultimate weapon or not. I don't actually know. It might be one more beyond that. I don't know. I'm going to need to research that. But everyone's basically almost on ultimate weapons. Which is pretty decent, you know. You, you should be coming up to us of roughly where we are by now anyways. You know, getting up to the close up the weapon stage. So, very pleased with that. That brassard with 110 weapon points. That is unreal. Where are we going? This way first. The holy element from the Holy Lord. Doing us a great favour, I think. Go away, mate. Monica just attacks. Whoops! Sorry, now I've just hit now I've just punched my my headset. Clearly, I don't want to be wearing this or something. I, I've got no idea, but... There, yeah, see, that's much more like it. But, I mean, Monarch's attack is just so fast with the sword. I mean, I'd argue, she can probably take on pretty much most things. Ooh. A bit of a war here. Um, I have an idea. Not Max. Steve. I think it's time for a war. And of course, now Steve has got a, a voice box, so we can even hear his his thoughts and commentary or something as we do this, folks. This should be interesting. Diamond, former. Leave it to me. Oh God! I didn't know if putting this gun in would be a good idea or not. It may or may not still be. Hey, how dare you protect yourself from my gunfire? We don't think it'll lord of it. What did he say? I got no idea what on earth he just said. Come on, you! No, bad! I'm gonna get you guys. What on earth is the voice about? I don't even know. I didn't know if this would be a good idea or not. Perhaps Silent Assassin might have been better. Man, that's not effective. We need something different for that. Nova Cannon might be a good idea. Ooh, yes. Bye. I'm gonna get you guys. The best thing as well about the whole um, uh, putting a voice box in Steve option is that if you don't, if you put it in and then you get decide, lost, and then you decide, oh no, I don't like this at all. I want to change back. You can't. Uh, I'm pretty darn sure you can't actually take out um, Steve's voice box. Once you put it in, that's it. You've got it for good. So, if you're really unsure about it, you might want to consider perhaps saving the game first um, and then testing it out. But um, I don't mind. We don't get any, we don't use Steve too much actually. I probably underuse him quite a lot. So. <laughs> Speaking of that, folks, the guy it, it could probably do with um, probably do with some new equipment, actually, Steve. Problem is, we're now kind of at the point where we're not really going to find any more recipe cards and things for Steve. So I might now have to start delving into my own information banks, i.e., the internet. 
um, and start going through that and deciding what ones, are, what it is I do want to make. See what I've got and sort of work it out from there. As I said, there are a few things I do want to um, make uh, myself. I do want to make sure I have. So I might start delving into those soon. All right, that takes care of you guys. Because we're not really going to run into any more, uh, any more recipes, I don't think. So never mind. All right, well that's uh, pretty good going. I've actually done all right there. Actually, that's that level done pretty good. Happy of that. Let's go over what this box is in here. Some red paint. What is paint doing in here? Paint. Baking flour, freaking, um, you know, super hot peppers. There's some odd things in here, I tell you. Anyway, let's bust this open. There we go. And again, folks, I'm going to do a bit of, uh, a little bit of sphere. Uh, I did a sphere as well in the, um, the zombie zone. Uh, I got the, I got a resurrection powder actually for it. It was the, it was the resurrection powder, um, like, you no, know, makeup the one that I used in that level anyway, so. Because I kind of died. Okay then, so let me go and play around with this, folks. I'll be, uh, ooh, this is kind of awkward, this. I'll, I'll be a good one. And we just about made it, folks. Needed all seven shots in that one. Not like some of the others where we've done it with sort of two, three shots spare. We needed everything from that one, folks. That was a little bit nasty. What's our reward? Ooh, some blood powder. Very nice. Okay then, uh, I'm going to re-equip the wrench. And did that say, ooh, there's a fishing contest going on. I may have a crack at that, folks, actually. I, um... I might have a crack at that off-screen, actually, folks, because I said I do want to take on another one. See if I can't do a little bit better than I did last time. I mean, we, might, we did, what, third it was for our first ever attempt? That's pretty good. I, I, um... I might consider doing that with another one. Doing that, like, off-screen. Out of curiosity, with the fishing rod, Being that, I'm guessing you can't. Oh, so you can't use level up powder on it, can you? No, you can't. Never mind. I uh, often was not the worst idea. Oh wait, if I put it in the right hand. Oh no. Okay then. I thought it might be a way to like get extra fishing points. Or something. I, I I didn't actually know, folks. I was uh, I was experimenting. That. have a crack at that off screen actually. See how I go. Uh, we'll do one more, why not? We'll do one more. I'll do one more and then I'll go to the garden because then I'm gonna stop recording. because uh, it's getting a bit late here, so um, I'll, I'll do this one. I wonder what kind of enemies we're going to run into here. If you said big fluffy animals, you'd be largely wrong. These guys, guardians. With halberds and all. Ooh, lightning's the way to go against those guys. Look at Max go with, his, with a wrench. Impressive. Liking that. Okay, hold up. Why is there so much flour in this place? I mean, is, is is Emperor Griffin that much into baking cupcakes? Can I hit him with the vars and stun it? I can do. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know. I really wasn't sure, actually. Good to test these things out, you see. 
That's the third time the game has given me the, the hand to the clock right next to the door. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm not complaining, folks, but uh, come on. Max's wrench seems to be... Yeah, that's... That's effective. And, of course, even the uh, even the gun has um, got some uh, good electric uh, attributes on it as well. So, that's... Um, that's nice. I've still not worked out what all this underneath stuff is, folks. Just that it's freaking awesome. That and it's moving. Did, did they... Did, were they moving? Or it's like back in the blue sections? I don't remember. Ooh, mo more move, boy owns. Here it comes! Saw that charge from a mile away. There we go. Die, Guardia! Thou shalt perish and give me little bits of extra health while I'm at it. And Please tell me I didn't just steal a carrot from it. Because that would make no sense. Ooh, wow! That's a hell of a find, that, the lamb sword. That is not a bad find, folk. As gentle as a lamb. Looks weak, but... Uh, yeah, folks. Uh, again, another weapon that we can uh, play around with. As you can see, they're heart, S-heart, and Lancer. Um, yeah, you, I tell you what, the lamb sword, you can get this weapon via uh, weapon development. But not very often. Um, you know, it's quite hard to find this sort. This is quite a rare weapon, uh, both uh, weapon development and just finding I don't think you can buy this weapon. I think you can only get it by development or finding it. That That's a rare find. That's that's pretty cool. Beast Cyclone. It's a bit like the antique sword up here, folks, uh, with flame, lightning, and exorcism. I think it may be worth me off-screening, or perhaps, perhaps looking back, I still haven't decided whether it'd be worth my time actually building up to like, to like plus fives, and then uh, synthesizing them. Especially thinking the distance that the steel gun's got to go, and at a big distance at that, I think it might be a good idea. Um, I mean, I can't rely on too much, we haven't got many gems. Yeah, I mean, bar those, we've got one, two, there's eight of them, which isn't a huge amount of uh, but even little outside sources, even like um, like monster drops. Yeah, they do help a bit, but I mean, even the... That's how we've got far we've got with the, the beast one. I don't really want to be dealing with any of the others at the moment. I can't be asked. so... I don't know, it might be worth it. You know, just like when we put the uh, Murakuma onto the Brassard. I think it might not be... A, I think it's... Uh, it's certainly uh, feasible. I have to have a little think about it. You can steal carrots from these things. Well, that makes absolutely no logical sense. But then I suppose, when did this game make logical sense? There's a question for you. Ooh, ooh. You go, Max. Doing much more damage than I think he probably has any right to be doing, to be honest, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. Really? That third attack does like to miss a bit. It, it's, um... You think with the, the second one... Yeah, it's not got great rage with that third hit. It's a bit, kind of, a bit close. Not right now. Oh, the map's actually quite a, you know, nice sort of uh, system to it. Come on, 
you. I, I've stolen three carrots in this single level. <laughs> what? I don't know. At any rate, folks, we'll uh, get some more premium chickens, which I can't carry. Ugh. I don't really want to use another one. That's kind of a bit unnecessary. Besides, if I'm going to be leaving uh, this dungeon after... How did that miss? How did that miss? I mean, if I'm going to be leaving this dungeon after uh, this, this level to go to that fishing contest. All the health will be restored anyway, so, you know. Oh, two Goyon. That's not... That's not really practical. Man, that's some damage. That gun does more damage than my wrench. Nasty. And I'm all in favour of using the gun, because, of course, that it's got... Um, it gets bonus points now, because of the gel with us. Ow! Whoa! I'm glad I backed away again. That swipe there would have done some, some serious damage. Uh, fine. Wait, what have I got? 19? I thought I... I had eight. Oh, I must. Have, oh, I'm, I'm get, uh, maybe I've picked it up like of an enemy and not even noticed it said premium chicken. Uh, some of the enemies we've seen do. A couple of them do drop premium chickens, so I can only guess that I've actually picked one up and not even realised. There's a, a an item drop. Goodbye. takes care of you guys. Super. Super, super, super. Right, okay, then well, what I'm going to do is, again, the brown of Sphere, so I'll go and do this. This probably won't take too long. And I'm going to meet you guys back in the uh, back in the gardens, um, and we'll play around with the new Geostones we've got, and then I'll, I'll bring it into the video. So, uh, I'll be a moment. Right, then, okay, so uh, we've done all that. Um... Really nice little prize, actually, for winning that. Got a couple of gold bars. Isn't that? That's two grand there. That's nice. I can live with that. Right, so let's come back into the uh, Giorama then. And see what we've got with our stews. Road to Golbad. Path of the Sun. But unable to decode. A stream and a starlight stare. No decoding. No decoding. Flabbed of recollection. So you can see, we're learning a lot more about the actual conditions, but again, well, we've got this here, one here, Road to Golbad, supposedly once led to the ancient capital. You can only meet eight of these folks. Um, what you will tend to find in this area is that, um, like the trees, like all this, Make as much as you can of everything, folks. Um, something I, I kind of somewhat forgot about, but I've kind of realised and had a suspicion anyways, is that um, you'll generally find is that um, in this area, because you see it's got its own building set, basically this game will give you just the amount of stuff that you need to build in order to actually fulfil all, um, all of the stuff you need to do. Um, so you only get one fountain, you only get two trees, only get those, because that's that's how many you need. No more, no less. So build everything that you can. So you see here, Road to Goldbad, you can see um, what that's for. It's for the um, the path here. Only going up and down by the looks of it. I'm trying to get another view. Ah, you see, there you go. You see, so you've got ups and downs. Don't think there's anything else that it's for. So, if that's the case, yeah, pretty happy with that. We should be able to place these then. Yeah, see, it's a red and a yellow. So, we need to get one going towards the gate and one coming back. And ideally, I want to get them right. Zoom in a bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. 
one going each way. Well, I say one going each way, I mean four. We need, we need four. So four going two, and four going throw. Going round. Yep. Quite there. Nearly. Ah! Picky like this, folks. You don't have to be exactly dead precise. It's just I am. And one more. Super. We should be able to come down. Uh, looks quite nice, actually, that, doesn't it? And with any luck, there you go. The power of the path of flowers we walked. So that's the second one done, which is uh, pretty good. So 20%. Not too bad. Uh, like I say, you don't really need to know much about the, um, the, the, the these things. Like my mysterious power, it kind of just basically just spells out what you need to do in the pictures in case you can't work it out yourself. Basically, lovely. Well, then what I am going to do is that is it. That's why I'm going to bring it into view. Can I take pictures of these? Oh, they are. Ah, yes, I thought so. Take pictures of all these things as you build them because they tend to, yeah, relaxation fountain. Um, yeah, they tend to be their own uh, invention ideas, which is kind of cool. Um, so just just bear that in mind. Let's uh, put those up. I've already done the fountain while off screen, and I, I, I forgot to say, don't matter. I think I actually need to go see um, uh, Donnie, actually. Actually, yeah, I do need to go. I think Donnie's got something else for us to get hold of, actually. So let's just do that. I'm going to do it quickly, because otherwise I will forget. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to bring an end to this video, folks. So um, uh, next time on Let's Play uh, Dark Cry, say we will. Um, I'm going to have a crack um, and a hand at uh, the fishing contest to see uh, where I can't get to. I don't think it will be all that bad. I think he's the blue one, isn't he? Yeah, because he's in blue and then Claire's uh, in the red one. Yeah, the secret base is fine. Yeah, he does! Superb! we got a level off screen and we've got this explorer's outfit. If you want to go off and explore unknown regions. Well, thank you, Donnie. Um, I have no idea if I'm going to ever use this. Whoa, that's weird. You can add, he's, he's got... That, that's, um, that, that's odd. I may or may not use this thing. Uh, I have no idea, folks. Uh, but as I say, I'm going to have a dab at the fishing contest off screen to see, uh, see how far I can't get. Uh, see what we can't achieve. Um, and then we will obviously then return to the Moonflower Palace. Continue along the, uh, the the eastern path, where we will be engaging with this danger zone. Now I do not know why, folks, but for some reason I really, really remember the. Na I I read this, I saw the name of it, and I had lots of bad memories flooding by uh, back to me once I read it. I have a funny feeling, there was a, I remember when I first came through here, there were a couple of stages where I really, really struggled to get far. I have a nasty feeling this is going to be one of them. But we'll delve into it next time, folks. So thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time.